Braylon, firstly, welcome to the Glasgow clan. You've been settling in the last few days. How is life treating you so far as you adapt to your, your new surroundings? Yeah, it's been good. It's been a pretty uh, warm welcoming here. Uh, I've practiced in the last few days and I uh, got all the meet, meet all the guys. And, you know, it seems like a pretty, pretty uh, strong core group of guys and, and pretty tight group. So um, I'm looking forward and I'm excited to, uh, to be here and uh, to, to join them. Good stuff. Now it's not the first time you've been in the elite league. You played for Guildford Flames a couple of years ago, and it was well, it was quite the season to play in the league. Of course, it was cut short because of of COVID. Have you come here feeling as though there's something more you need to do in this league? Yeah, I know. I I had a great time on my in in Guildford, and unfortunately, yeah, due to COVID, that was the the year that everything all cancelled. But uh, no, I um, it was yeah. I think coming into this year, I'm gonna have the same mindset. Just you know. Uh, coming in and playing playing my game and and just fo focusing on that and so I'm uh I'm pretty I'm looking forward to that. Now of course you're going to be reunited with Jamie Crooks who's obviously playing with us this year. I noticed you've played with the likes of Ben Davis and Mike Will, former Clan players. Did any of those guys have an influence on you deciding to come here? Uh no, but well, as soon as I saw them, uh, they're they're all excited. Uh, like Jamie has, um, you know, he was excited to see me, and, and so was I. So it was good to, uh, you know, be on the same team as him again. Now this year, um, up to this point, you were playing in Sweden with Ostersunds in the Swedish third tier. What was it like playing there? How was your experience? Yeah, it was a good experience. Uh, I I really liked it there. Um, yeah, nothing nothing bad to say about the organization. Um. And uh, it was a good, a good time when I was there. How have you found the last couple of seasons? I mentioned that your time in Guildford was, was cut short because of COVID. Last year was a bit up and down, I think, going by what I've seen from your, your stats last year as well. How would you describe the last couple of years in terms of your, your career? Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's been a struggle. I've been, you know, going through some some tough injuries and, and some, you know, tough times uh, just with my, you know, my own career. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to try and look for, uh, you know, look for a place where I can, you know, you know, have a good, good, successful year, and you know, without injury free, and and just, you know, ha come to a place where I can just be myself. So I'm looking forward to that. It must be frustrating though the fact that you, you're a young guy, you're only 24 years old, and that's basically two years of your career that have that have kind of disappeared because of COVID and the injury issues you've had. I can only imagine how frustrating that's been for you. Yeah, it's been very frustrated, and um, for me, I'm just trying to, you know, focus on the good parts. Uh, uh, just try to, you know, stay strong mentally, and I think that that's, um, you know, helped me. Part of my my mental game is is try to be stronger when when tough times come in 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 my approach. So I'm gonna, you know, continue to get better at that, and 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 look forward on on the bright sides. So tell us about what you'll bring to the team. What attributes do you have that we can look forward to seeing um, when we we see you very soon? Yeah, you know, I like to use my speed. Um, uh, that's one thing that I like to do is uh, play fast. Um, you know, I like to make plays. You know, use my teammates a lot, and you know, generate offense. So, um, I'm looking forward to uh to use my abilities and and to try to help the team uh, uh this year. And is it harder coming into a team halfway through the season when all the guys here are already already established? They've been working with the coach now for months. You're a brand new guy. You're coming in. You're having to basically start from scratch. Yeah, I know. I've been I've been in this position, uh, you know, a few times. So, um, yeah, it's it's um, it sometimes will be difficult, but um, I think coming here will be, uh, you know, I'm I'm like, I'm just excited to have you know the opportunity again. So um, I'm just gonna come here with uh, just so you know a clear mind and and just uh, just focus on the on the positives. Is it fair to say you have got unfinished business in the UK because of that that brief spell you had previously? Yeah, I know. I was I was having a great time there, and I, I think I only played fifteen games. So, um, and I think we had many games left. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to you know playing more more games uh, in this league. And of course, you're getting straight into it this weekend. Two tough games: the Clan go to Nottingham on Saturday, then away and at home rather to to Sheffield on Sunday. And those are two that are uh, so called bigger teams in this league as well. Real challenge for you to to step right in. Yeah, I know. I I played against uh, those two teams two years ago, and uh, you know they were good then, and I uh, I think they're good now. So um, I think I know know what to expect. Uh, you know, going into those games, so um, I'm looking forward to to that challenge. 
And I take it working with the guys this week, you've already established what kind of role you'll have. The coach has been working with you, no doubt, to get you up to speed. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been, uh, you know, I got all this. It was nice that all this week uh, I didn't, ha- we didn't have any games. So uh, be able to practice, you know, get, you know, bond with the team and, you know, have a couple practices into to get comfortable, um, I think that's going to be that's going to be good for for us and the team to go uh, uh, go into the games this weekend. Have you played at Brayhead previously? I'm trying to remember if you you played against um, in Glasgow when you, you were last here, and and if so, what was your recollection of that experience? Yeah, no, that that was actually um, I didn't uh, end up playing here or or Glasgow that year. So um, no, I was uh, I was actually excited to come here and uh, you know experience that firsthand. And of course, looking ahead, it's going to be a tough season. The games are going to come thick and fast as well. It's going to be a, a challenge, not only mentally but but physically as well. Are you are you up for it? Yeah, I'm always I'm always up for a challenge. Um, I'll never say no to a difficult challenge, and you know, I always put my best foot forward no matter what. So I'm I'm uh, definitely uh, ready ready for that. And of course, working with Malcolm, I've I've got a feel for for what it's like to work with him from the guys in the team already. What is your impressions of him being? He seems like quite the hard taskmaster. Yeah, I know he seems like uh, you know a pretty straight shooter coach. So um, you know, I, I trust him. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to him, and uh, you know, I'm, um, I feel comfortable uh, you know having him as a coach. A couple of questions just before we we finish, Braylon. Uh, I want to know something interesting about you, something that nobody else would know. So, so tell us tell us a bit about yourself and and what you've been up to. Away from yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I grew up yeah, like I was born in Vancouver, um, and I moved to Calgary. I think when I was 12 years old. So I lived in two, two big cities in Canada. Um, when I was younger, I used to be a speed skater and uh, uh, I had to choose either between speed skating and hockey. And obviously uh, I think I ch- chose the right, uh, right sport. So, um, and uh, for me, like away from the, away from the rink or just away from sports or anything, I, um, I like to play my guitar at home and just, uh, just relax and listen to music. So, yeah. I've got to ask, what are your musical influences? Who do you like? Um, actually, growing up, I my dad was a huge Led Zeppelin fan, so I uh, listened to them. So they're uh, they're one of my tops. And same with like uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers and all, all those uh, o- older bands. So nothing wrong with those older bands. I'm an older man myself. I quite like them too. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so aside from what you want to do on the ice, what is it you want to do off the ice coming to Scotland? Is there anything you want to? Do? see places to go is that something you've given any thought to yet yeah no i'm uh i'm looking forward to you know explore the city and and, and see uh you know i know there's there's a lot of history here so i'm uh, i'm looking forward to uh you know ex- explore and and see and see uh, all the you know all the monuments and all the all the cool all the cool things here good so any any message to the, the purple army they'll be watching they'll be looking to, to get to know you a little bit braylon what, what do you say to the fans that are watching this video Ah, um, I'm I'm excited to to see uh you know see you guys um you know cheer us on uh for the rest of the year and I know now that we can have fans so it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting to to see all you guys uh, on the ice. Well, Braylon, good to meet you. Thank you for your time on this. And as I say, we'll we'll see you at the weekend. Awesome. Yeah. Thank thank you so much, Greg. Appreciate it.